Oh, hey, okay, welcome cool, to Sun Tech. Okay, cool. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. <laughs> I'm Thomas. <laughs> I'm Alan. And this is our uh, second version yeah, the, of our nice little background This is display. our second season of Let's Talk Tech, and we have our first show of our second season, we decided to change it. And then we hated it, so we decided to change it again. So. Actually, it just wasn't saved correctly. Well, okay, but... You know, there's all kinds due to, of due to pressing stuff. circumstances, we decided to change it again. <laughs> okay, and, so uh, now this is legit. And yeah. uh, thanks to our, I give props to our uh, Eric, Eric over there in the booth. Uh, no, I don't know. Eric, would you like to come out here and give yourself a bow? Our, our director here, this amazing person. <laughs> nice. Yep. Nice, Eric. There nice you go. Eric. That's Eric. And yep. uh, thanks to him, we have uh, this awesome background. Awesome. Uh, yeah, he set this up for us in like five minutes. So uh, <laughs> it's not bad. So yeah, um, so uh, we give a lot of things to him. Um, by the way, uh, we are live at number yeah, bottom please of the call screen. In. Bottom of the screen. Ask us about anything. Ask us about your computer troubles. Actually, why, we really want you to call and ask us about why your cat computer. ran away from home. Anything, please. Okay, so. Today's two segments. Yeah, uh, our two segments, which we threw together in a nutshell. Out of a magical hat. A nutshell. Uh, a nutshell. A magical hat. Dude, yeah. shut up. Okay. Okay, cool. But <laughs> our, um, our we're not prepared. <laughs> our Whoa. All right, cool. Oh, okay. That was not a phone call. That was weird. I okay, that cool. was okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> what first, are we starting with? Our first, what we're going to start with, uh, Google Docs. Yes. Yeah, really good time. Google Docs. Okay, so we're going to start with Google Docs. Yeah. If you have not heard about Google Docs, I had a video for Google Docs. And if you go on to our YouTube page, I am currently uploading videos to YouTube as we speak, and we have a phone call. Oh, we have a phone call. Okay, cool. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Just hang up. <laughs> no, wait. <Shh>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so Google Docs. Yeah. Great thing. Best. Um, if you go and search on you. There's yeah. several ways to download it, but let's talk about the aspects of it first. Hmm. The so, aspects. Yeah. So you go and you download it. Now, when you start your computer up, you can have Google Docs open up. Now, if you do Indeed. not, if you have Windows 2000, or Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you know what I'm talking about. With, um, uh, you have on your desktop, you can put desktop icons on your desktop for time. Yeah, and you and, can have, you know, your they're email. called gadgets with yeah. Windows. And so, they're, uh, they have like, they're like, you can have like a calendar and you can have the clock and you can have um, like currency. I don't know what else. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Well, there's not even that much. There's yeah. like 10 things. Yeah. But with Google Desktop is amazing what they did. They turned the little gadget idea into something huge. And it's been out for years, longer than even, I think Windows copied it because uh, on XP it was out for it and 7 hadn't come out yet. Yeah. So, and they didn't have the gadgets for XP. So this was, I think, Google original. And Google, I give them props for it because it is legit. Yeah. It is. It's amazing. Um, so this works well for if you have Windows XP or Windows 2000. Even Windows 7. It has a lot more features yeah. than just the regular gadgets. I have Windows 7 and I use it. So. Well, yeah, see, because <laughs> you're out. <laughs> well, so what it is is... Uh, Anything you need, pretty much, on your desktop, you can search it in, on this little, um, I don't know, GUI. Uh, okay, okay. Start, uh, let me tell, tell them the right way. You tell like it is, though. Okay, cool. Uh, start menu. Right at your start menu on your right side of the screen, hmm. my right, your left, on the right side of the screen um, would be a little icon, and it's just like, it's, um, it's a text box. Small rectangular text box that's in your, that's on your start panel, on the left side of the screen, at the <laughs> on your right side of the screen. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to convert where their right is, from my left, and you know whatever. You don't so, even know your left from your right. Right, left. Ha. Do you want a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> so you go on the bottom of the screen and you could type in whatever you want. It will search your entire computer for you. Now, if you have Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you go into the start menu and you already have that option. So it really doesn't matter if you get this or not. If you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you have that option already. You have the same option. Indeed, but, but with this, there's so many gadgets that you can search for through Google and it just gives you like, they have like radios, they have RSS feeds, which if you don't know what that is, it's like feeds from all over the internet. 
So like Yahoo News. Yeah, they just so updates like to your news desktop. So like Yahoo News on your desktop constantly. Yeah, so like um, you can put everything down. Actually, you, you could, put, you could uh, without even clicking on anything. Yeah. No hands. You can look at what the news is from Yahoo News is from. Yeah. And whatever. A blog. A blog. RSS feed. A blog. Just whatever you want. It's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, um. Yeah, yeah. So that's the best part. But the it gets better. It gets better, Tom. Really? Yes, it does. And there's more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. There's more. Okay. So. You can also go and if you click control twice, if you now you have to have this downloaded. Hmm. Once you click control twice, it will pop up with another rectangular box, no. much bigger. But it will pop up with another rectangular box, and you can start typing in that box whatever you want to search. It will search your desktop. It will have a drop-down menu, or yeah, usually a drop-down menu wherever the thing is placed. It usually have a drop-down menu of all your things that are on your desktop. Now, if you want to search the internet, all you have to do is press enter, and it will take you. To Google and it's to Google search, and it will automatically start. I know what you're thing. thinking. This is a lie that there's <laughs> there's some kind of scam, but it's not for only 19.95. No, if you call it now, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Google gives it to you completely free. It's you can completely search it on free. Google uh, Google Doc uh, Google, Google Desktop. Google Documents. That's different. <laughs> Google Desktop. You can search it on Google, and uh, it'll come up, and um, you can download it and. Yeah, it's, it's it, um, in order to download it, you go, you could go into Google, search Google, and Google search Google Desktop, or what desktop. you can do, yeah. or what you can do is you can go into Google, and at the very and um, the farthest, farthest to your right, so kind of like in the center of the page at the very top, there's you know you have your Gmail, your Google Calendar, but there's a thing an option called More. It's a drop down menu. Click on More and once Wait. you go all the way down, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Once you go all the way down, you click on even more, and <laughs> it will take you to a it will take you to a page. It has all the Google uh, all the Google software and interactions that it, that Google interacts with. Yeah. And you go all the way down on the right hand corner of the page. <laughs> And uh, okay, okay, okay. Just search it on Google. <laughs> okay, we're not saying you're explaining to the people who are have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't even have an idea what you're talking about. You're like, you're going to go to the right, turn around, go back to the left, yeah, and then the go right. straight. You'll be in China. Take another right. You'll be in Florida. <laughs> once again. Once, once you go to Florida, jump the Atlantic Ocean. You'll be in Australia. <laughs> uh, remember the new, new Mexico? No. Uh, no, you don't remember that. You used to say it all the time. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Right. okay. 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 Once again, we're live, 203-265-6310. If you would like to give us a call about an actual question instead of just calling up and hanging up like people that have no life. Um, well, they have a life. It's just somewhere hidden inside their very dark souls. But if you want to call th- in legitly and call in and don't be fresh in us, legitly call in <laughs> and, you know, no, ask I think us a it's question. Crap that they, that they want to call in and they hang up. Do they have anything else better to do with themselves? I think not. Because seriously, Wait. It's, a, it's a Friday. Flashback. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just like doing that. Oh my god. Okay, uh, so good times. that's go- That is Google Desktop. That that it's one of the. I, I I gotta say it's one of the best features. Yeah. It, to me, it's better than Windows Seven's gadgets and stuff. Yeah. And I can g- Google search stuff <sighs> right from the yeah, right from my yeah, desktop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me talk, please. Sure. You're over, you're over here rambling on. I mean. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Okay. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Google Google in itself makes a ton of free programs. They're coming out with their uh, operating system, Google OS Chrome. It's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be a. Uh, it's also like a known as Google Chromium. Weirdo. No, it's going to be amazing. Okay, I think it is. It's going to be super fast. It's going to be great for internet users who don't really save stuff as much as go on the internet. Like um, I don't know. Do you want to tell them why it's going to be faster? Well. Sure, because there's no hassling with. Uh, you know what? We're not talking about this. We're talking. You're the about, one brought it up. Well, I'm just bringing it up to let okay, do them you know. Do you want to just tell everyone what else they're coming out with? That's what I'm trying to do, but you interrupted me. Sorry, I'm very, <laughs> very sorry. You better be. <laughs> okay, so they're coming out with Google operating system, which is called Google Chrome. They have already a Google Chrome um, version. Not no. exactly a trial version, but they, yeah, they, they have the Google Chrome web browser, which is oh. a lot faster than uh, Firefox. But I'm not saying it's better. I do like Firefox more, just for 
other reasons, but I, I, I am not hating. I, yeah, I'm, a I'm not, I'm not, I'm a Chromer. I'm not hating on Chrome. I love Chrome, but uh, I just like Firefox for some reason. Maybe it's on Fire or it's the Fox. It's the Firefox. Dude, it's legit. Yeah. If you haven't downloaded Firefox or okay. Google Chrome, so you wanna we'll have them on our site too. At, uh, oh, yeah. You could www. Actually, I'll put that on Let's tonight. Let's talk tech.co.cc. And you, uh, later yeah. tonight, you'll be able to download it. Uh, uh, yeah. And also, um, like I said, all the, like, I made a couple videos and I wasn't, we weren't able to show them today because my laptop is being a D. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's being it's being very bad. Yeah, I, mean, I th bad. I swear, laptop. I gotta wipe it again. I swear, I got a virus on it. Well, something's up. Where the wireless isn't working and it's lagging. Which, by the way, lagging means slowing down, going very slow. Um, so, <sighs> um, yeah, yeah. So sucks. it's it's not working. And it told me it was gonna take an hour to burn a five minute video no. onto a DVD. It did not. Yes, it did. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh my God. How dare it. We sound like nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did not. No, 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 he did not. It's like gossiping, but with people. No, but no, not with people, with DVDs. My computer took six, two hours to download Firefox. No, it did not. You lie. You lie. Anyway, so all that stuff is available on our website, which will be avail which will be on it the will screen be at some point during the show. If some, you continue some, watching, tonight, it will be maybe there. Maybe tomorrow. I mean, yeah. don't rush us, please. I mean, we have other lives, kind of, sort of, modern warfare, but we do have <laughs> other lives, so please don't rush us, please. Oh, and um, by, speaking of modern warfare, really quick, I don't know why we're getting off topic so much. <laughs> <laughs> we're <laughs> always going. My off gamer topic. tag is Revenge Robo, and it's legit. So add me. It's uh, pissed off gamer zero. It's, I'm terrible. No, it's R E V N G E O F Robo. It's legit. Why'd you just flash that, Eric? Thank you. Hey, yeah. Eric, could you show our uh, website? Oh, yeah, on the yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's my name, by the way, but no spaces. Yeah, thank you. That's our website right there. Let's talk tech.co.cc. Indeed. And you can go to that, and we'll have the web, the web browsers available. And for you. just so Firefox, you know, I've Google just made changes to the website, uh, and I took the news. Like, usually I have a news on the um, homepage. I, and then I'll post it to the blog. I've taken that off, and I'm just okay. putting news on the blog okay. now. He has a blog. A blog. For I don't even show. know why. No, because I was sick of posting stuff to the thing and then taking up more space by making yeah. page after page after page of news. Oh, I can just okay. put the m news on the blog. Yeah. Okay. And then people could have an RSS feed to us, which they'll never do. Okay, sure. Yeah. You know what? That sounds legit. Yeah. So we have. So if you go to our website, all our stuff's at the bottom. If you go to the bottom page, we have Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. Um, we have pretty much everything you yeah. can think of. Well, we I don't, don't have a StumbleUpon account. <laughs> 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 Only you. <laughs> Only. Uh, but we do not have a StumbleUpon. <laughs> that is. Don't. And we don't have a My Yearbook account. <laughs> ah, my Yearbook. Did. Ah. <laughs> Shucks. Yeah, knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a downer. Uh, okay, so uh, you want to go to a commercial? I think it's time for a commercial. Uh, when we come back, we'll have Google Docs, which is just as important, I think, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, see you in a sec. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> I had to figure something out quick. We received our letter of default around Christmas time. There's nothing worse than having the fear that you're about to lose your home. The desperation that goes along with that is uh, very intense for just anyone. We did go out to see if we could find some foreclosure prevention companies, but doing the conversation and meeting with them, we found out that the first thing that they wanted up front from us was money before we even filled out the application. There's lots of companies that were offering the services and making a lot of promises to us that they could save our home. I really just didn't feel comfortable with them at all, and I just decided to take another path. There are a lot of companies claiming that they can stop the foreclosure process or help you modify your loan. You should be extremely cautious of people who make any guarantee, ask for money up front, or tell you to make your mortgage payments to them. I called one of the loan modification specialists. They said they could help. They needed a $500 deposit and then $3,000 after that. 
They said they had attorneys working on their side. They would talk to the mortgage company. They took my money and they didn't do anything for us at all. We were desperate to save our house. And I guess that's why we believed in them. It was just a scam. All of a sudden on a Saturday night, our front doorbell rings. I open the door and there's this lady on our front step talking at the top of her voice saying, you're going into foreclosure, you're going to lose your home. Well, I immediately asked her to leave. I then called my servicer and they didn't know anything about her. Apparently it was a scam. Unfortunately, there are a lot of scam artists out there. Some even look to be affiliated with the government. Their websites have official looking logos and graphics and their names include words like federal. Hope Now connects you with counselors that provide free foreclosure prevention assistance. When I met with the counselor that Hope Now connected me with, I was a little suspicious when I first went in there. I noticed that she didn't ask me for any money. I really felt that there was someone finally here that could help me now. I do believe that Hope Now saved my house. If it wasn't for them, I don't know where I would be. We probably wouldn't be sitting here today. Our counselor was so professional, I was impressed. She looked at our entire situation and helped guide us through the whole process. Everything that she has done was free, no cost to us. Time is of the essence when it comes to the risk of foreclosure. No one can guarantee you can get a loan modification or that they can stop the foreclosure process. But if you are in trouble, the first thing to do is contact your mortgage company and get housing counseling. You can do this by contacting the Homeowners Hope Hotline at 888 995 hope the sooner you call the sooner you can get peace of mind it's very scary knowing you could lose your house you feel like you're all alone in the world it's hard to know who you can trust but you can't let that fear lead you down the wrong path with people who might be out to scam you there are real people offering real help and they're at 888-995-HOPE and that was a commercial from the ftc.gov i have no idea that i think that was about foreclosure Yes, we, we really don't watch the commercials, yeah. but you have to, so I'm sorry. Yeah, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, once again, we're caught, we are live, 203-265-6310. Um, <sighs> if you watch us on the internet, you could call us in there, too. Yeah, you, like Germany, you know. It's probably... Dude, I don't think anybody watch. I've, we've ha we have someone that's from Germany that goes on our website. That's awesome. But Dude, I, I love Germans. They're awesome. I know. Oh, and we're going to show you... The, yeah, uh, why don't you show us... Yeah, thank you for reminding me there, Eric. Yeah. Shit, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Google? Google does This is Google I got one. Wybieramy teraz deskę. Szaks. Jeżeli nam się to załaduje, pobieramy go. I pobierzemy. Ustawi nam się taki pasek. Oraz taki panel boczny. Zobaczcie. Oraz wyszukiwarka Google. Jeżeli chcecie dodać więcej rzeczy, to jest taki zegar. Klikacie na ten plus. Teraz wyskoczą nam gadżety. Możemy sobie na przykład dodać karet nasz. Yy, jakiś jak Windows 7 no, no po prostu z tego analogowy czy przyciskowy jaki tylko chcemy o klikamy wszystkie wszystkie tutaj możemy sobie wybrać giełdę, wiadomości, e-mail zadania, zdjęcia Na przykład ten zegar, taki, czy po prostu kalendarz, lub kalkulator. Jeżeli nie podoba wam się ten pasek, możecie go zamknąć, nic też czego. Klikamy na ten 
wrong half on my part. I told Eric to play the video at the wrong time. I'm well, sorry, Eric. Yeah, but it's not a big deal. That, yeah, so that's you just, saw how that, that worked. Google I don't desktop. know if that was right. That is Google Desktop, and um, it just shows you just small, small portion of the features that it has. You can search. I mean, it has. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of each category that you can just put on your desktop and have it there forever. It, yeah. It's awesome. Okay, so you want to start on the new? Wait, there, but there is a downside to Google Desktop. It does take up memory, a lot of memory. Or so if not, you have a very slow computer, not a don't lot, use it. not a lot of memory, but for slow computers, it's it's. It's like an add-on, so you really want to cut back on If you're having a slower computer or an older computer, you really shouldn't put this on. I mean, it's going to lag your computer. Yeah. Um, next, we're going to go on to Google Docs. Which is an amazing program. Amazing. Like, blown out of proportion. Yeah, so Google Docs. It's for the people that know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, <Sure. laughs> it is a file server. Online. Online. That... Just recently, recently, you can now upload anything, well, any file you want on the web. There, there is something like it, like Yahoo and Google, uh, Yahoo and Microsoft, like lets you save like five gigs on their, uh, on their thing. And I don't like that. It's not even good storage space. It's not even legit. They're fronting. They're yeah. fronting. Um, Google Docs allows you to upload yeah. uh, documents. It, it started out with you allowing you to upload documents, such as Word documents. And things when you upload a Word document. Usually you just have it on there, and then you save it. So here's yeah. what usually happens: you usually open it. You you have to open. It. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> you open it, you save it on your computer, then you put it on a flash drive, you take it to work, work on it at work. Yeah. Well, then you save it on your work hard drive. Al, you're not supposed to work on work, especially working at work. <laughs> <laughs> so then you take, so then you save it again. Uh, you save a different copy on the flash drive. Then you take it back, and you take it to another. You take it back and you take it back home. So you're Un saving unneeded. Unneeded. This is this is. So just you're saving file after file is just over and over again. Unneeded. No, but what you really want to do is just save it as if it's on your computer and just hit save, and it's on an online file server, which so is completely safe, secure. If you are awesome. worried about privacy, read the privacy settings. Believe me, they're legit. They are legit, and Google does not front. They're not reading your. They're not Microsoft. Trust they're me, not they, out to get you. They don't really care about whatever little Word docs you have. I know we're so. not getting paid to say that. Yeah, literally, <laughs> Google is uh, trusted by. I wish we got paid to say stuff on the TV. That'd, That'd be, be awesome because we're not getting paid for this. <laughs> Le legitly, we are not getting paid for this. I'm broke, so <laughs> it's one of the reasons. If anyone you know <laughs> wants to pay us, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> Like um, uh, sponsors or something. Yeah, we do need. We sponsors. gotta look into that. Yeah, we gotta look into that. Not yeah. like you. Because we're completely broke. Yeah. And, and what? That's a, probably a, a downside to this because we cannot buy technology for us to test out. Like yeah. Uh, um, some other people. I was people. hoping to bring. Um, I'm actually building a computer right now, and as soon as I get the parts that I need to complete the job, I'd bring it in. Yeah, we're happy to show you how to build it. Um, not completely build it, but yeah, to a point. Yeah, show you the inside of a computer, what it looks like. It's yeah. his computer is going to be. Top of the line. We're talking. It's going to be built for a game server. You know, he doesn't need that kind of capacity. But he bought like <laughs> he bought like the new AMD three motherboard. Yep. He bought a what dual three gigahertz. We are getting off task. What's good? But it's crazy. I don't even know why he needs it. Anyway. So Google Docs. <laughs> Google Docs. Anyway, you upload, you upload the file. Indeed. To you upload. Okay, Word file, Excel file, PowerPoint. You anyway, you any, can create any, a Word file on any there. file you want to save to and then move to another location or even just save it because you're low on storage space save it to google docs and google docs will save it hold it and then wherever you want to access it from around the world or wherever has internet you can yeah you can access it again now there's also an offline feature which is a new feature so, uh, um uh when you go off the internet you could still go and you could be updating that file mm. and all you and you can update the file. Uh, uh, it's a spell check is in there and everything. Google does not. Ha I can't tell you that Google Doc has the best spell checker, but Google it's probably not as good as Word. No, it's, it's not as good. As but Word. they have. They've had years to perfect it. The yeah. Word spell checker. So. so, but Google Docs is incredible. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with Google Docs is the sharing feature. <laughs> yeah. 
the sharing feature. Uh, I, lo good I times. love the fact that everything was Google coming together shares. with Google. Yeah, coming together. My, uh, like the website, the web, my website that we do, I have it shared with my personal account, the Let's Talk Tech account, and his account. We have so a, all of us can. We have a calendar that we just use that yeah. our whole family uses. We share it, and, and then, we share the calendar. Well, we don't post anything on. It's all my mom, and she oh, posts and everything. Post and then yeah, exactly. And then sh we read it and what's going on. And then on. everyone can read somebody else's calendar again from Google. So yeah, so everything Legit. that usually is Google is shareable. So let's say you have a Word document. Um, okay. And, okay. Um, well, I can give a better okay. example. Cool. Cool. Here's Amy. She has a Word document she desperately needs to give to her lab partner, Jimmy. <laughs> How does he? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> How does she do it? Through Google Docs. <laughs> <laughs> so Jimmy does not get left in the dark during the science project. Continue. <laughs> oh, well, basically you just save it and then he can access it through, you know, a password or something. You can, you can say share. And what, and what will happen is that it will the thing will pop up and it will say, okay, type in your email. The best part about this is that they do not have to be a Google person. They can be anybody. Same thing with Google Groups they, and everything. They can you be don't a Microsoft to, user. Yeah. Psh. Microsoft users. Friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trolling. Um, trolling. Trolling. No, Al, you can't come up with words. No. That's not my word. That's, very, that's the Internet's word. The interwebs? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So... All you have to do, it will come up box, and then you type in the person's email if they have Yahoo, Google, Hotmail, uh, Mail.com, yeah. Tripod Mail. And you don't have to worry about risking it for Biscuit because this is completely safe. <laughs> what? <laughs> risking it for Biscuit? Risk it for Biscuit. Anyway. It's so Dude, that's the best when it, when it comes up and you type risk in the person's email, you could choose to either share it with them or share it with them. Yeah, you can... <laughs> you can choose to <laughs> share it or, 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 share it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain this. Yeah. Your first option Please, yeah. is to make it so the person can only view the document. Oh. So, read only. If I, yeah, read only. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, so, let's say I send a document. Read only. Let's say I send a very oh, fragile okay. document to Tom. Oh, wow. We got two minutes. Well, okay, that, cool. I send a document to Tom. Tom reads it. And no, no, it. no, no. <laughs> Anne has a document. She, she needs to send it to Jimmy, but she does not want Jimmy to contaminate it with his cooties. So <laughs> she makes it read only. The other share is she sends it to Jimmy, who can then edit it. Okay, well, next week we're going to be working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you like this? We came up with this in two seconds, too, but it is cool. Networking. Networking? Next, next week we're going to show you just the tips and tricks of troubleshooting networking. How, what networking is, no, what a network is. Mine's just doing right now. <laughs> we can talk about I that. can uh, And then YouTube too. We've had a YouTube segment. I know you guys are like, we've had a YouTube. didn't go no. into everything. There's yeah. so much more out there now. And we'd love Especially to talk about Especially with more. Ray William Johnson and um, SXE Phil. SXE Phil. He's like, he, he's Gross doing score. so much more stuff now. Grow score. Grow score. Yeah, he's my dog. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Yep. Um, Please visit our website, letstalktech.ca.cc. I'm disappointed there's been no callers. Please call in next time or we'll be on Friday. Or we'll call in in the next 20 seconds and we'll call and we'll answer the call off the air. Indeed. And uh, thank you for watching. If you are watching, probably not. Doubt it. But thank you.